All right. Uh, good morning again, Cypher friends, and uh, we give God glory as usual, and uh, we give Him all, all the honor, and uh, we thank you for each and every one of you. Y'all know that if I come back with a video like this back to back, you already know that something had transpired that 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 uh, needed for me and took precedent over something else that I was about to do that made me come back like this and say it to bring it to bring it to your all attention, in other words. And as you see in my, the title of this video, which is said, Fault Finders. I, I just want to say one thing, uh, and I'm just out there speaking to just one group of people. I'm speaking this to all of us, everybody. If you know anyone like that, maybe you're not like that, but you might know someone that's like that. That fault find, always fault finding. They're trying to find fault with everything good, with everything decent, with everything pleasant. They, 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 get, they always trying to find fault and get jealous and envy of something that's, well, you know, let me just say it like this. When you take pressing to do a thing, whatever it might be, and you take the initiative to try to do something decent and in order, to try to do something good, to benefit whomever, whoever is involved. Nine, nine times out of ten, it'll be turned on you as something negative. And, and, and believe me, people, now, listen to me, man. I'm not, I'm not trying to judge anybody upon the thing, but I, I got to speak the truth. Um, everything is not revolved around you or me. Um, if you going to do something, whatever it may be, you just go on and do it because of the fact that you want to do it. And then if, 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 if people don't come through or don't follow through, it's not your fault. But, I, but don't sit back and criticize something that decent, that something good that another person had done just because you wasn't satisfied. You wasn't satisfied. And, and you couldn't, you weren't able to be involved. Hey, look people, there's a lot of things that goes on in my world that I'm not able to attend. A whole lot of things that happen that I'm not able to attend. I got choir members and church members and people that they, they, they have have all kinds of function that I'm not able to go. A lot of them, some of them I am, I, some of them I don't choose to go. And I have my reason. But I am not going to sit here and try to criticize those that go along without me. Especially when they, I had an ample opportunity to be a part of it as well. You know, we got some, some of the most ridiculous people sometimes when it comes to stuff like that. I, I tell people all the time, jealousy and envy. Oof, who can stand against it? That's what the Bible say. In other words, just because you didn't get the idea, and just because you weren't the one that started it. In other words, I didn't start the Academy of Music. I didn't start, start Juilliard. But I'm not going to start, I'm not going to let that stop me from learning something from someone that went to Juilliard. Just because I didn't go to Juilliard, which God knows, I believe I would have, I could have went, I could have went, I I'm the type of person I believe I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. If I had wanted to go to Juilliard, I, I believe I could have went if I had wanted to. But I do thank God for the school that I did go to. They were great for music. Andrew College, I graduated from that in 84, left there and went on to Barry College, which was another outstanding school for the music department. And you all know I talk about Dr. Pethel all the time. My, my piano instructor, that Ms. Ryle. Ms. Ryle was, a, was a, what to me was one of my greatest teachers. I done had two, Constance Rose and Mrs. Faye Ryle. And Dr. Stan Feather was my composition instructor. He taught me conducting and all the nine yards so about the theory and all of it. And I, I mean, I will forever be grateful to those people for giving me where I was. I'm not going to be jealous of the fact because of somebody went to Julia. I thank God that I went to Barry and Andrew. I, I stayed at Barry. 84 to 88. I spent four years at Barry, two at Andrew. 
So if you put all that in the equivalent, I had to, I pulled out and go to the military. I pulled out in 88 in, in, uh, in the, to, for the military, to go to the military. I had to prepare myself for military. And I ended up going to the military during the storm. Let me tell y'all something. I would always be grateful. But I'm not jealous of someone that went to Juilliard or someone went to, I mean, school to school. But just because we don't initiate something, we get jealous because somebody else has took the, took the time to, to, to do something. It's just like, okay, just like I said, on, I mean, I'm just going to let it on out and tell the truth. I did something on yesterday, me and my wife, Bonnie. We, I had, it's been on my heart ever since the summer. I said, hopefully, this Thanksgiving and Christmas, I was gonna, I'm going to prepare food, which we did. And by the family, period. Get everybody, let everybody sit down and eat together if they can good. Well, I did that. As far as I'm concerned, that was a done deal. And it made it a reality. After yesterday, when I had my sister, my two sisters came, Betty and Amy, my, no, Lord, not Amy, Amy's gone, but Betty and Kathy, Betty and Kathy came. We had a good time. We enjoyed They enjoyed They kept, they keep talking about it. So now, why would I sit around now, after we done had that great time, and start talking negative, talk negative stuff about who this and that. I'm not worried about all that, but like I said, I'm a person of action. I'm a person of action now. I, I, I got a lot of things in the plate and some things in the past. Sometimes I don't get a to, to do a lot of my music the way I want to do. But now if I speak something that I'm going to do like that from yesterday, pity man going to do it. And I, 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 I can't depend on you for something that, that I got on my plan. See, a lot of times we have plans and people that they, go, they, they, got, they do it. Now, a lot of talk, but they don't ain't no action behind it. I can't deal with that. So in other words, if you're going to do something, in my opinion, if you're going to do something, whatever you're going to do, and you need to be real and do what you say. That's what I'm saying. Do what you say. Some people, you can't depend on them to do what they say because what they say and what they do is two opposite things. People, let's forget about the jealousy and stuff. And that, like you said, if you could come together, and especially the family, I just got them doing on video about that. Your family need to be able to come together. But people, there is no use of doing something that you know ain't going to work out. Now, if you know that there are some things, there are some people that's in our lives that, that, that we are just not going to see eye to eye with, I try to avoid those situations. Because, see, when you already know that bad blood there, don't, don't stir it up. In other words, if you're living in a glass house, don't throw no stuff. Amen. So this is me, man, and I just wanted to come back and say that, y'all, we need to get rid of this jealousy and envy. Hopefully, we will learn to do that in the name of Jesus. Whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God is not in it, then you come out of it. Because it's going to come to nothing. This is me, man, saying to the next video, next Bible study, whichever come first. Peace and good day.